How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to another video. And yes, hair is short, so I can grow the beard out, maybe. I don't know if I'm going to do that yet. I did last year. Um, I've also been streaming a bunch. Been streaming my ESCA intermediate games. So you're missing out on clips like this. I got him, I got him, I got him, I got him. Rear flank, no. rear flank. Just don't, let him, don't let HF get it. Nice. Good job, boys. Yo, can we talk about that 200 IQ Nate I just had? Yeah, the that. fucking frag was right there. So there will be a link in the description if you want to check that out. But today I want to talk about how to entry a site Inferno. We're both going to be going over um, arch side wrap and port side. Now I'm going to go over arch side first and I'm going to assume that we have some sort of ports control because you're not going to put five people wrapping through arch. You're going to have like maximum three people, probably two. Um, so I'm going to assume that we have some sort of porch control. So first thing you're going to want to do is have somebody like flash you in, get on top of the barrel, throw that kind of stuff. All right. That's going to allow you to peek in here. And you're going to really want to practice this angle um, because most of the time they're going to have an opper posted up right here, you know, maybe doing some cheeky stuff. Um, so you're going to really want to practice this angle, pre-firing it especially. So, you know, going in like that counter strafing blah 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 so you can get up here um i think there's a smoke like here or something that you can throw it's gonna land there it's more to the uh it's more to the this direction it's, there you go um and so that will allow you to wrap b if you really want to but for this for the sake of this video um this is all about a site so we're gonna I'll wait for this smoke to go because i don't have time scale um bound because I'm a noob but while we're waiting for that this corner you could have somebody molly it um, you can molly it off of this um, you can't as far as I'm concerned or I remember you can't really molly it yeah you can't molly it that well off of this um, it bounces off the wall there I mean I guess you could um, but I would just suggest lining up anywhere on this pole and toss it it's gonna, it's gonna land just where you want it to um, this can also be a good spot to throw the flash out, um, because that's going to actually flash deep enough to get anybody there. Um, so once you're coming around this corner, you can jiggle here. If you have an op guy, he can actually peek that from right there. Um, I mean, I guess you could too with a rifle, but it's a bit more, it's, yeah, it's, it's rough. Um, once you have this kind of controlled you could just smoke it off i would suggest smoking it off honestly unless they don't know that you're rapping um if they had don't have the info that you're rapping you don't want to smoke this off because then you could like sneak into ct and you know get a cheeky kill um library usually you're gonna have two people swinging this one person's gonna swing out the other person's gonna stay nice and short because they're if anybody's playing there it's most likely an opera um so once you have this kind of library control all right you gotta shoulder grave a bit shoulder actual grave like up here and then over here um, and then you have to worry about pit okay you worry about right here um, yes they could be be playing here but they can't see you from here um, if they're watching arch it's either here or they're gonna be over here all right and so all you have to do is worry about right here for now the cheeky one tap okay and then as you slowly progress over onto this site you worry about there you also have to worry about balcony i wouldn't take the time to pre-aim balcony um just because your porch guys are probably going to get those kills um i would pre-aim here where your porch guys can't see after this is like majority clear like i'm not going to swing all the way out just holding it just because i'm open to sight um this is kind of clear i'm going to start peeking default kind of stuff and then i'm just going to swing um so in real time, all right, that kind of stuff. I was taking it nice and slow to demonstrate. So real time, it's going to be like, you know, checking here. So I'm slowly like progressing, getting more ground. And that took all of like six seconds to really do. Um, when you're entering or when you're trying, well, yeah, this is entering video. Um, when you're entering, time is of the essence. You can't just sit there and like clear every single angle. That's what people behind you are for. All right, you have to like quickly like browse over all the angles, hope that there's a guy peeking out. Like, yes, even if you clear like default, there could be a guy on the opposite opposite side of the box. Um, so while you're doing this and like clearing all these angles, you'll have your second guy, you know, maybe posted, maybe just watching here. All right. Now that's pretty much art. Um, if you're going port side again, 
gonna want to have somebody flash in for you um, you can get somewhat control here you can also go through boiler um, to get that kind of control and now this you have to be worried about because if there's an opera up here he can easily just pick you off um, from that angle so that's something you do have to be worried about but if you get all the way over they can't see you um, so you can't just stay right here kind of thing you're gonna want to swing over and hold like this angle or something you also have to be careful about your gun barrel sticking out um, because if there's an opera on arch he would be able to see you so this angle you can actually spot if somebody's like playing here all right you can spot that while you cross you have a little bit of like background you can see um, so you don't have to like hard clear that also if there is a person back there and let's say you you're not sure if you spotted him or not by the time you're here you would be able to see their model so you don't have to like super hard clear it by like right here you can easily see if they're there or not um, so now let's actually get into the entering portion so I would shoulder this just in case there is somebody up there it's most likely not gonna be an opper um, so you could potentially win this fight or this duel if you do take it and then you have to be worried about you know these two spots so everybody's thinking about this spot but lots of people play on this bicycle now um, and this is actually a very easy headshot to hit you would think it's difficult but it's actually very easy just because you have this solid line to line up on um, and while you're moving it's difficult for them to hit you just because it's an awkward angle for them um, so yeah you want to you know, have something going on there maybe the person behind you mollies that so they're forced out right you have to be careful if your teammates do molly this because if they are forced out right they will swing um, and you'll have to be prepared for somebody just to swing out here if there is no molly they won't have any incentive to swing out so they probably won't um, you also have to be worried about them throwing a flash this is a pretty banging flash that they may throw um, bounces off the door might hit you right in the face pretty hard to see coming um, so you have to be ready at all times like if you get full blind just to you know find a more passive position to fall back to so let's say that you have your teammates clearing this out or you have like wall smokes going on I haven't thrown wall smokes in years so let's just assume that they're you know something like that um, graveyard up over here this is where they're most likely going to peek. They're not going to peek out here at the bottom of it. Um, they're going to stick their heads out. You have to really think about like how you would play it as well. So they're going to be peeking you like that. Nothing really you have to worry about. That's not a very common position for them to hold during a side execute. Um, this angle right here, this is actually a headshot angle. Because guys could be like right here holding the walk up. And all you have to do is put your crosshair right at this corner. And kaboom, kabam, they're dead ski. Alright. This, I always either like completely jump across library but that opens you up to sight you have to be careful for that or I just kind of I, I oftentimes will just do that and hope that I can hit the shot um, then here here and here that's how I'm clear in sight yeah there could be a guy back there yeah there could be a guy right here head down um, but I'm not really worried about that another angle that you if you're like in balcony you have to worry about is up on here um, it's very hard to spot from porch um, but balcony, you can kind of like just jiggle, try to get him to shoot something, you know, and, uh, this is easily wall bangable as well. So if you start to shoot and you move off the angle, you could still potentially kill him. So that's about it for, uh, A-Side Inferno. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. Um, I've done, I've done Train, I've done Mirage, I've done Inferno. I think next map I'll do Overpass. Um... Or like D2 or something. So yeah, we'll see. I'll, I'll progress through all the maps. So thank you all for watching. Don't mind if I'm wearing the same shirt in the next video. Because I'm going to get some uh, recording done today. And uh, I will see you next time.